him doing various things and you're thinking wow look at that guy getting shit done look at him high on his own farts look at that massive ego i'll still achieve more by failing than you'll achieve by doing nothing isn't that incredible like you won't achieve any of the things that i've achieved and i know i know i'm massively egotistical there so um you know i'll let you get back to grooming teenagers <laughs> who are totally not mad on the internet <laughs> And I'll uh, I'll get on with the second important thing I'm doing today, which is obviously making my video. And, uh, and uh, you know, I'm taking actually a really big risk tomorrow. It's really interesting. I'm actually meeting up with a bunch of BBC journos and film crews, and they want to film a documentary, like a mini doc, you know, a sort of 20 minute thing on me. And they want to do it on Dankula and PJW, but I don't think they were interested. But, um, but they want to do it on, on us, the YouTubers. And so I'm kind of nervous. Because you know what the BBC are like. They're going to fucking... Well, well, I mean, okay. I'll tell you what the journos are like. They're not very trustworthy. <laughs> but, um, but so I'm kind of nervous about that. But I wasn't nervous about doing this. This is nothing. Your career on YouTube is nothing. No one outside of this knows anything about you. They don't care about any of this. And I'm not trying to do this to hurt your ego. Once again... I'm just saying things that are true. And they didn't know about, well, actually, they did know about me. You know, Farage actually knew who, me, knew who me and Dankula were, but, you know, that's, again, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I state true things, and that's an ego booster. I, I've got to stop it. But anyway, I'll get off. I'll, I'll, I'll let you stream snipe me for those, those precious views, and I hope it goes well. I hope, uh, hope you get to have a really great time. I hope you all... <laughs> <laughs> I hope you will have <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop making jokes about you and your teenage audience. Anyway, take care everyone. Well, okay. Um Max Max eighty seven just woke up, thought it was five Eastern, is Sargon doing good? Okay, so I think um a lot of people are going to win from this. V snipe the kill stream. No, no, I'm not sniping the kill stream. All right, so, so here's what I think. Um, when it comes to what happened here, Sargon pointed out that Jim's audience is made mostly out of teenagers, and it's probably true, and he went back into how Jim started and, and pointed out you know a lot of things that he believed initially. Um, and he's saying that his audience is mature. And I know this is true. Like, I saw his uh, demographics. M most people following Sargon are, are over uh, 29 years old. Um, so when it comes to this stream, uh, if you want to look at who's more popular, like who wins popularity points, uh, it's Jim by far. Um, Sargon lost a lot of the audience with the audio in the beginning, with the fact that the chat is turned off. Uh, people are going to focus extremely on that. Like, that, that will be the major thing that they're focusing on. The delivery, his chuckling, you know, like, things that are part of his character. You know, things that come off as arrogant. That's, that's what uh, a lot of people will focus on. But if you focus on the arguments, like what he was pointing out, is he is pointing out that Jim said that you can't influence career politicians and that it can't be done. And now he is doing it and he is basically saying, well, Jim, you were wrong. You know, can you admit that you're wrong? And I don't think Jim is going to admit that. I think he's going to focus on the optics of it all. You know, him closing the chat, him um, having the, the lack of audio, the... the the grooming thing is going to be obviously uh, twisted to, to say that, oh, he's making Jim look like a pedo. Uh, uh, watching this video, what I think he wanted to say is that uh, Jim does use his charisma and his influence to attract younger people that have a lot of time on their hand in order to go troll on the internet. That's, that's what he was trying to get at. That he is uh, in encouraging p uh, people to... Uh, uh, to troll others um, which is interesting to see how Jim will respond if, if he agrees with this or not uh, but I think like everyone will win because Sarkhan's audience is mostly people over 30 that are mostly interested in politics 
So for them, you know, all the accusations that they might have been hearing that Sargon's lying, that Sargon's deceiving people, you know, he addressed them here. So for his core audience, he addressed the, the important issues that they care about. The kill stream with Jim, they're going to uh, get a lot of material to laugh at, to, to make fun of, to joke around. So they're going to get a lot of super chats and views and they're going to win from it. Uh, I win because I streamed his stream and, and I managed to <laughs> I managed to make a couple of bucks out of it as well. So I think in, in the end, everyone is winning. Um, yeah, grooming doesn't just mean sex with kids, but it's going to be twisted in that way. It's it's going to be made into um, the fact that, oh, wow, Sargon is accusing Jim of pedophilia. Like, the only thing you can't accuse Jim, and this is my, my genuine impression of him, if there, is, if there is one thing Jim cares about the most on this entire world, is kids. The moment, like, you, uh, someone has, like, a whiff of pedophilia on the internet, the moment someone's accused of, of hurting a child, Jim will be there... And he's going to make videos and he's going to bring the whole wrath of, of his fan base upon that person. Like, I, I do not buy it for a single bit that Jim would be accused of, of doing anything shady regarding it. He, and, and when I talk with Jim about Milo, like, he genuinely did not like Milo for the statement that he made. Uh, and, and he thinks Milo got off a lot easier than he should have. So, um, I, I, I don't believe for a sec. I, I think Jim might genuinely, you know, enjoy kids to the point where he has a channel dedicated to entertaining them. And which is fine. It's like, there's there's a lot of people who did that in the past. You know, like Barney the Dinosaur, you know, like grown adults that would have uh, entertainment for children. There's not, nothing wrong with it. Um, don't apologize for Sargon. I, I'm not apologizing for Sargon. I, I'm, I'm saying he, he won the, the actual argument, but he lost on the optics like he's he's not going to but basically people who like sargon is are still going to like sargon people who like jim are still going to like jim i, I don't think this will change much 